Hello, this is Jack from Tofluency.com and in this video we're going to talk about books and more specifically what books are going to help you reach a high level of English. So keep watching. As an English learner, there are so many books that you can buy and read to help you with your English. Now, firstly, there are the type of books that are specifically made for English learners. This is, for example, grammar books, course books, textbooks, and books that have been adapted for your specific level. And then obviously, there are also books that haven't been made specifically for English learners, books on a whole range of topics, fiction and also non-fiction. Now, I receive a lot of questions from English learners and one of the main questions I receive is, what book should I buy to help me on my journey to English fluency? Now, I cannot recommend a specific book in this general sense because a book that's gonna be good for you and that's going to help you on your journey might not be suitable for someone else. This is because we all have different interests and also we have different levels of English. The key is finding a book that you can understand, a book that isn't too difficult for you in your level right now, and also finding a book that is going to really interest you, a book that you just can't put down. Now, as you progress with your English, and if you are an intermediate learner now, I recommend that you find more native materials. Find books that have not been written specifically for English learners. Find books that are native, books that have just been written in different genres. And remember, choose a book that is going to interest you. Find books on topics that you find interesting. This might be novels, non-fiction like history, sports or politics, or maybe magazines and blogs. Additionally, if you can find the audio for the book as well, then I really recommend that you do this. If you find books that come along with the audio, it means that you can listen and read at the same time. You can read a book and then listen later, or maybe you just listen to the book. But having the audio is really going to help you improve your English. One last tip, the mentality of choosing books is really important. And what I recommend, like I've said throughout this video, is that you find books that you want to read. Don't read books that you feel you have to read. Instead, read the books that you think, yes, I really want to read this book and I know I'm going to enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy the book, don't feel like you have to read it, put it down, and choose a different book instead. Here is a question for you, and I want you to leave your answer below this video. What is your favorite book that you have read in English? What is your favorite book that you have read in English? Leave your answers below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.